I don't know all that much information about this car. Hi there guys, my name is David. You are watching Viva Automotive and this is Supercar Sessions. Supercar Sessions is basically me going through these posh areas of London, trying to locate and photograph some of the rarest, coolest and most expensive cars out on the streets. All cars are given points based on their price, exclusivity, as well as my own perspective. One point is for all the basic supercars, three for less basic ones, five for hypercars, and ten for the rarest of the rare. Today I'm starting here in front of the Connaught Hotel because right there behind me is a very rare Aston Martin DB7 Zagato. I have to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know all that much information about this car over here apart from the fact that it is based on the Aston Martin DB7 and it is limited to only 99 units worldwide. So this car over here is one out of 99 in the world. It has got this sort of staple uh, Zagato roof so you can see the double bubble um, over there as well as here in the back and um, the bodywork has been a bit modified by Zagato. Um, I love their newer cars and I love the number plate on this car as well. So a sad, sad thing happened. Um, I am here in Belgravia and I've just missed a convoy of a Ferrari, LaFerrari, Maserati MC12 and a Bugatti Veyron Supersport. I've missed them by like two minutes. How could I have missed these three cars? As a consolation prize, at least there is this uh, Chalk Porsche GT2 RS, but I mean that Maserati MC12 would have been way, way better. Anyways guys, this car is quite cool as well because it is a Porsche GT2 RS, the most powerful 911 um, ever built pretty much and this one over here is finished in chalk which is one of my favorite uh, Porsche colorways that is non-PTS. This car has got the Weissach pack as well which means that it has got the carbon fiber hood, uh, the wing, the roof and basically all the other bits and pieces and in the interior it is finished in uh, red Alcantara which is uh, um, quite interesting I'd say. I'm not sure I really like the red on the steering wheel but apart from that this car is beautiful just parked here on Eaton Square. By the way, just a quick reminder guys, if you're enjoying this type of content and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe. 97% of you are not subscribed, so just click that red subscribe button and um, yeah, thank you very much. And just around the corner from the Porsche GT2 RS, there is also this brand new Ferrari 812 GTS belonging to Henry Simmons. It is finished in black with a stunning, stunning red leather interior, as you can see over here, that stitching over on the seats from the front. Yeah, it is a pretty much, you know, normal Ferrari A12, but it is a GTS so you can take the roof off and it has got the TDF wheels as well.
I have popped to Chesham Place because every month uh, the 96 Club organizes this sort of retro car meet here in the center of London. And this time we have got this stunning Lamborghini Espada finished in silver, this uh, Jaguar E Type, uh, then this retro Ferrari, the 2005 Ford GT finished in golf livery. Let me actually come in a bit closer and show you this car over here. Absolutely stunning, uh, finished in the blue and orange. Then we have got this Ferrari 308 finished in Russell Corsa and just a bunch of other cars um, parked here in the center of London. Short update guys, so I've been standing on Park Lane for the past two hours, didn't really see anything all that special, no hypercars or anything like that, but here in Mayfair there is the exact same Porsche GT2 RS which I've seen yesterday on Mount Street. I have left Parkland and Mount Street because down here in front of Novikov Bar and Restaurant there is a combo of a Lamborghini Aventador SV and Aventador SVJ. If you've been watching my videos for quite a while I'm pretty sure that you've already seen these two cars because they're out here in London pretty much every weekend. I've seen this Lamborghini Aventador SV just yesterday. It is covered in 2 million Swarovski crystals and I've seen this SVJ a couple of weeks ago I think but both of these cars are absolutely stunning. This one as I said finished in black but covered in 2 million Swarovski crystals and this one uh, finished in Viola Parsifai, I think. It's this very special Lamborghini purple color with this SVJ logo uh, finished in the Italian Tricolore. All right, guys, and that is everything for today's Supercar Sessions episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more automotive content every week. Um, but that is seriously everything. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you next time.